Now another thing that's taken place over the last couple days is the installation of dozens of different landscape lights, both the solar lights as well as low voltage lights, and it's a lot easier to install than you might think. Our landscape lighting experts, Wanda and Nick, put together a lighting scheme based on our master plan and began laying out the fixtures in their locations. Next, they mounted transformers adjacent to the existing outdoor outlets and pulled low voltage cable from there over to the fixtures. As each fixture is positioned in the ground, it's connected to the cable with a simple snap-on connector. These are great because they require no tools and they allow you to move fixtures around if you need to. Well, what we wanted to do with this backyard space was really enhance the overall outdoor living experience using landscape lighting. For example, one of the things that we did around the spa area was we used some down lighting fixtures just to give a little soft glow around that area, uh, up lighting some of the landscape elements as well. And then as you walk toward the play area, we have some of our solar fixtures and some whimsical elements for that fun play area. Also along the garden area, we use some of our tear lights to just border that garden along with a little bit of uplighting on the house. The backyard fence along the side yard using some carriage hanging lights to frame the yard somewhat. And then of course these majestic live oaks look great with some dramatic uplighting. This is one of the type of uplights that Wanda had talked about. This one shining up on this oak tree. There's another one right behind me that'll shine up on a little palm tree that we have. These create such a great effect once the sun goes down and I can't wait to see how everything looks in this backyard.